I heard Bill Johnson say this once. He said, if, if you're not hearing God, read the Psalms till you do. If God's not speaking, or if you've lost his voice, start reading the Psalms until you hear it again. And it's like this, when I, I sit and talk to these generals, I sit and talk to Reinhardt and Heidi and Bill and Pastor Robert, and just amazing generals. I ask them, help me, give me some wisdom. Like, what could you tell me? Every one of them will say prayer. Every one of them will say scripture. Every one of them will say, you need to hear the Lord. And you cannot hear the Lord if you don't have relationship with the Lord. Relationship isn't just being born again. Are you with me? Being born again is essential, but it's the beginning starting point to unlock your potential. So we get born again, we say yes to Jesus, we don't just give him our heart, but we surrender our life. He doesn't just want your heart, he wants every part of you, your mind, your will, your emotions, your soul. He wants your spirit. When you get born again, your spirit and Holy Spirit become one spirit. You actually become flesh of his flesh and bone of his bone. If you realize that, your flesh will no longer have dominion over you. When you fall in love with Jesus, the one thing that you wanna never do again is sin. Does that mean you're never gonna do it? Absolutely not. Does that mean sometimes you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna say things that you shouldn't and you're gonna do things that you shouldn't? Yes, but the reality of intimacy and your increased intimacy and your increased relationship makes that slip and that trip less and less and less and less. The reason why people sin on a constant basis is because they're not increasing in intimacy. Are you with me? When I increase in intimacy and relationship with God, the last thing I wanna do is miss it. But when I increase in relationship and intimacy with God, I realize that he paid a price for me to make it. Not just to make it to heaven, but to make it into the reality of realizing why I'm on this earth. I'm on this earth to represent Jesus. Are you guys with me? I know this is kind of like the weirdest thing because sometimes we're taught you're a bipolar Christian. The, the, church, the church at a whole teaches Christians that they're bipolar, that you have this sin nature and this, this divine nature and that you're always gonna be in this war. Constantly, like you're beating yourself up. My spirit wants to do this, but my flesh wants to do this. My gosh, my flesh is overpowering my spirit. Lots of people say, my spirit is willing. My flesh is weak! <laughs> Come on, the emphasis is on the weakness of flesh, not the strength of the spirit, because intimacy isn't established. But when intimacy is established, your, your spiritual life gets completely increased and your carnal life has to shut up and sit down. It's called relationship. But Jesus didn't say, come to me, all of you who are weary and work to exhaustion, come to me and I will give you rest and you're always gonna miss it, guys. Let's just face it. You're always gonna miss it and you're never gonna be able to make it. You're always gonna fall victim to your flesh and let's just get over it. I mean, that's the way it is. That's not what scripture says, actually. It says, come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened down by life, come to me, you who are exhausted, you who are weary, you who are broken, come to me and I'll give you rest. And a lot of the church does that and they're like, no more shackles and no more chains and we do this prayer of salvation and we come to him, we get born again and we think that's it and that's not it. That's the beginning. We never enter into the next part. The next part is like so much more valuable than people make it to be. He says, come to me, all of you who are weary and broken and hurting, come to me, all of you who labor to exhaustion, come to me, and I will give you rest. 